Hi there. So for this question then, we were given the value of y, and it was valid for x greater than 0. So for the first part, you had to find dy by dx, which was this result here, 10x to the power 4 minus 3 over x to the power 3 over 2. And for part b, you had to integrate y with respect to x, and you can see the answer here as x to the power 6 over 3 plus 12x to the half plus c. So I'll take you through this in case there were any problems. For the first one then, all I've done is copy down what y is, but for the root of x you can see that we should know that that's x to the power half. I bring that up to the top here just so that it's ready for differentiating. So therefore we get dy by dx equals, and in the usual way we do 2 times 5 which is the 10 and reduce the power by 1. So that's going to go down to x to the power 4. For 6x to the minus half, multiply minus half with the 6 to give you minus 3 and then reduce the power by 1. So tidying this up, although this is perfectly acceptable at this level here, I've just kept the first term there as 10x to the power 4. x to the minus 3 over 2 is 1 over x to the power 3 over 2. If you multiply it by the 3, you end up with 3 over x to the power 3 over 2. OK? Now when it comes to integrating y with respect to x, I've copied in y here. Don't forget to put brackets around this, by the way. Often forgotten, we've got two terms here. OK? We're integrating the whole lot with respect to x. And in the usual way, all we do is we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So I've added 1 to the power. That gives us x to the power 6 and then I've divided by that new power 6. Same here on this term, add 1 to the power, so minus half add 1 gives us a half, and divide by the new power, a half, OK? Don't forget your constant of integration as well. Easy to forget that. Clean up, the 2 will cancel into the 6, giving me a 3, so you've got x to 6 over 3. For this one, 6 divided by a half is 12, OK? And then we've got 12x to the half plus that constant of integration. All right.